Um, so this piece I wrote after dating a white woman. <laughs> so this piece is called Ebony and Ivory. Or the last scene to a romantic slave film. Alabama, 1853. Interior, barn, night. Close up shot on William and Mary. They stare with light eyes. His dark brown, hers light blue. Gazing at a sunset of indifference, they share four panting lungs. <gasps> Two beating hearts. One undeniable love uncrushed. William said, hey, sugar, just stay here, Shep, sec. Now, sure, we lost them. I, I got a check. I I'll be right back, I, I promise. <laughs> William's fingers disconnect from Mary's grip. His sweaty scent is left upon Mary's palm. William gives one last look at her cascading tears, forcing blank thoughts of the future. She thinks he knows this is the end. Neither pair can bear the sight. Exterior, barn, doors open. William steps out the barn into a day far gone. Clear, maybe. Go back, no, forward. Click of shotgun, dirt yellow hair, smacking guns, country smile, wide shot on three white men. First man said, Hey y'all, found that nigga boy over here by the shack. I got him shook. Hey, come on, bring him off. It's one, two, three. William is equipped with two clenched boulders. Second man said, hold on, hold on. William delivers busted noses, bruised backs, broken shoulders. Third man said, hold that nigga down, damn it. I said, hold him. Shotgun. Last punctured ribcage. Severed groin. William's curtains close. Mary attempts to rescue but cannot break the male barricade. Unheard left sweat. Love you! No, go! Third man said, Go ahead and tie that monkey up. This is teach them niggas gonna fuck their own kind. John Coltrane's Alabama plays. <laughs> the end. Dim lights brighten. <laughs> Scratching coughs, shrugging shoulders. The surrounding crowd looks around. Someone stands up and walks through a narrow door. The majority follows one after another, after another, after another, after another, after another exiting with the same caps they wore coming in. Home. <laughs>